sum of like, like people who owes me. When you pay there, I, I, when you pay there, I can't say your, your names. Beer is expensive, you see, so they cannot cope of drinking the beer. Alote owns Fastway, a drinking spot in the heart of Adabraka. His business has been running smooth for the past 30 years, but lately his customers are sinking his business because they owe him and are not paying. These are some of my, my people who owe me. When you pay there, I, 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 when you pay there, I can't say your, your name. The people who, people who, people who me. See when they pay, and then I can't say it. To supplement his income, he has also become a lotto vendor. But even that, he says business is still hard. I have a lot of, a lot, a lot of uh, friends who normally they come here to buy painting. But this time, even they come two bottles of wine, they go away. Uh, sometimes when someone will come here, he can offer, he can offer a drink for anybody who sees here. That oh, my friend, what do you want to take? To take thing. Well, this time you can't find that one. The situation is true for many people who enjoy themselves or have some form of recreational activity at the various drinking spots and bars. Anand Sowa does not drink, but he spends his time at Fastway for fun. When, when people are drinking, when people are laughing, sharing jokes and all these things, I feel funny about that. The story has changed because we started in a very good boom, but now things have lagged behind. Why? Because beer is expensive. You see, so they cannot cope of drinking the beer. Something is being sold at five cities. You bought it at five cities at eight o'clock in the morning, and then you come back at nine thirty in the morning, and then being sold at seven cities. While having this discussion, right opposite the spot is Ni Afutu, who requested to share his views about his living standard. <laughs> If you don't have at least 100 cities to spend daily, just sleep. You can't even approach a woman, otherwise she will burden you with her needs. Liquor is so expensive you can't even buy. The story rings true with this Liberian guy who came in as a refugee. Five years ago, he could afford a bottle of Guinness and beer at this bar, but not anymore. Sometimes when I decide to come here, I take a little, little yeah, to keep my body warm. Consuming alcohol helps him numb the pain of losing his family. Although he is not a national, he sings the chorus of calling on government to ensure a better economy. Everything is getting expensive. Everything, transportation. First, this thing will buy it 50 pesos, but now it's 80 pesos in one city. Before I didn't drink Guinness, but now because no money, so I got to drink this one. Bob recently lost his job as a mail porter. He is forced to take on a toilet cleaner job so he can cater for his wife and two children whom he sent back to the village because Accra living is expensive. Working in this economy is hard. I have two children and it's tough. He comes here from time to time to drink and puff away cigarettes hoping it would ease the burden on his mind. I used to drink Guinness and have a freak, but now I have to opt for a cheaper liquor. Alotis prayer is for the economy to bounce back so that his customers will settle their bills and make merry once again. <laughs>